Hi, I'm Theodore Leaf, and I'm here to show you how to live big and under 1,000 square feet. One of the challenges that I had designing this space was where do I put my office? I have a one bedroom in New York City. Granted, it's spacious, but it's one bedroom, so I had to find a spot to put the office. I finally decided to take over one of the closets in the bedroom. It worked out really well because I have this beautiful bookcase and I could hide like my paper shredder in there. I didn't want the room to feel like an office when it was a bedroom, and I also didn't want it to necessarily feel like a bedroom when it was an office. So I have a few little design tips to really help you separate the two spaces and make them work really well together. So let's step into my office. One of the first things I did is put these really great over-the-door baskets on each door. There is so much storage space on the back of your door that you don't realize a lot of times. It's just a few inches, but I've really been able to maximize it. I just want to put them on the back of every door I own. It's a great spot to sort of store all of that stuff. And the best part is you can see it. And when things are out and you can see them, you're much more likely to use them. It's just a really, really helpful tool. Another great use for these doors was my little wrapping center. I love to wrap a gorgeous gift, and that takes a lot of different tools. So I've got all my wrapping papers here, all of my ribbons fit really well. Another thing that I did to maximize space is use a utility board. So I chose things that are the similar colors and so that it wouldn't look really cluttered. That's one of the design tips that I always go to is if you have something out for the eye to see, you wanna make sure that you're buying things that are similar colors. So for example, with this board, I did whites and silvers and just kept it really, really clean. I also did this magnetic dry erase board so I can put some inspiration photos or quick things that I need to remember. Another thing that's really important for an office is power. We have so many things we have to plug in these days, but I find that I can't fit them all on one power strip. So I found this one, which is great. I love it because it's clean, it's silver, it goes with my color palette, but there's also plenty of space between the outlets. When you're working with open shelving, it's important to not let it get cluttered. With these open shelves, I just went with really clean white boxes and it's just really easy to store everything and find it when you're looking for it and just make sure that everything is really neat and organized. When you're living in under a thousand square feet, it is imperative that you are organized. Otherwise, you won't be able to find anything and you'll run out of space really fast. Finding a desk that'll actually fit in a closet is more challenging than you would think. I finally, finally, after measuring and running around town, found the perfect desk. And the best part about it is I could assemble it sort of inside of the closet because there just isn't enough room to sort of move things around. So when you're doing an office inside of a closet, make sure that you have a desk that you can work with and that you can actually fit inside. The reason this is such a big space saver is it's literally another room inside of a room. I can sit under the desk, I can stand. I actually decided to go with a standing desk and I could not find the right solution. Most shelves are about 12 inches deep and I took one of the shelves and I measured the width and I had it made deeper, but it was MDF so it didn't really look expensive or special. I have a trick. I actually just put down some really, really nice looking contact paper, which looks like really cool wood, and it saved me a fortune, but it also was really easy to do, and I got exactly what I wanted. I didn't have to stain anything, I didn't have to deal with that. I just stuck it on, cut it, and I was good to go. Here I have this beautiful bookcase. This is literally just three simple white bookcases that I put together to get great storage space. And when it's a bedroom, it just looks like a nice bookcase. But when it's an office, I open this up and I have lots of space for more of my supplies and tools and things like that. I just love having it all tucked away when I don't want to see it, but when I need it, it's there. See, you can create an entire office inside your bedroom. You just have to get creative. All these things hiding inside of this closet, you would never know when the doors are closed. And I also have that huge bookcase that's hiding a paper shredder. You just have to really get creative about where you hide all the stuff that you need to work and make sure that you can get to it easily.